Hi all, today we will discuss about uh, Kafka interview question. So what are the Kafka interview questions which will be asked in interviewer? So this is the uh, Apache Kafka. Uh, what is Apache Kafka? When to use Apache Kafka? This type of questions they will ask. So have you used Apache Kafka? So where to use? So Apache Kafka is a distributor publisher subscriber uh, messaging system. It is uh, scalable fault tolerance. Uh, while you used uh, any microservices in that we need uh, mostly used in uh, any messaging queue like Apache Kafka and then uh, any other messaging queue with the uh, asynchronous communications. So if you want simultaneously we have a multiple microservice communications in that cases we can go for Apache Kafka. So this is the flow uh, when we use Apache Kafka we have a zookeeper so the zookeeper will take care all the uh, is a monitoring tools which will be inbuilt in the kafka uh, or, or, or else if you are installing the kafka then you have to install zookeeper also so that will be monitoring so they will monitor all, all the metadata how this communications will happen from this producer to consumer and kafka clusters so kafka will create a one clusters so zookeeper maintain all those things so either metadata is creating properly messages going for the producers to Kafka uh, clusters to consumer. So we have a two things. One is a producer, one is the consumer. So producers means like a producers will create a data and uh, send to the Kafka cluster and clusters will to the uh, consumers. So there are multiple advantages and disadvantages there while we are using a Kafka. So uh, I, as we have a multiple microservices, so that multiple microservices communicate simultaneously so immediately they will get the response like of scalability fault tolerance durability and all will be faster uh, in the kafka suppose if you are using instead of rest template or any other mq like rabbit mq and all so uh, these all are the advantages uh, so immediately we will get this uh, 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 records and all so processing uh, rate in Kafka exceeded beyond low, uh, 1000 K uh, per second. So that's why we are using Kafka scalability on all if you are compared with other services on uh, others messaging queue then uh, in that we have a uh, multiple producers uh, written to the same topics and all. So that and fault tolerance is also a way where uh, we can uh, have a good uh, fault tolerance in uh, Apache Kafka advantage. Uh, du durability offers data uh, durability as well also uh, so this message written in Kafka can be persist the persistence and configured to the uh, reprocessing if required so uh, if anything will be there let Kafka will be worked on as a off and online also so suppose if your data uh, or something is an off and if you are again processing and uh, this online processing data is happening then automatically that will be retry so we have a retry options will be there so based on the topic uh, we need to create a uh, uh, topic for the each uh, request like each microservices we have order microservices payment microservice notification microservice slot microservice store microservices are there so how these all will be communicated with order so order is the main microservice which have taking the order maybe processing the order and then generating a reports uh, like that so for that we are using this advantage and then uh, we have a list of various component in Kafka. So there are four major component. We need to create a topic. So what will be the topic name? Suppose if you have order microservice, then order will be topic name like that. So producers will be there, which will be publish the data and broker is a mediator, which will be a set of the server where publish the message and consumer who want to take the data. Like suppose if we microservice is there, like order microservice is producing some data then may, may we have other microservices which will be consume the data like a notification microservices and all. So what role uh, zookeepers play in the cluster uh, of Kafka? There are uh, multiple uh, roles which will be there like Kafka is an open source system and distributed system uh, in build using zookeepers. So that will be there in, in build only. So the basis of responsibility of uh, zookeepers is uh, build coordinating uh, between different node in cluster so uh, commit this offsets and all so mostly zookeeper is also responsible for configuration management and uh, leader detections uh, detectings and detecting if any nodes leaves or join cluster 
in synchronized so many things will be taken care through the zookeepers only uh, so zookeepers uh, will commit offsets uh, so that if any nodes fail then it will be uh, do the same after that we have a like uh, uh, can kafka will be uh, utilized without uh, zookeepers yeah kafka uh, is it possible to use kafka without zookeeper no because zookeeper is the main uh, which will be monitors our kafka so without kafka uh, zookeepers we can't run kafka and all so elaborate a uh, kafka architecture so they will ask like uh, can you elaborate this kafka architectures a cluster contain multiple brokers since it is a distributed system so we have a topic since it get divided into multiple partition each broker store one or more so those partitions uh, is so multiple producers can consume and publish and retrieve the message at same time so you can elaborate like what is the kafka what are the kafka architectures so in kafka architectures we have a producers consumers uh, kafka clusters zookeepers and all so like this and how to start the kafka suppose if you have uh, installed the kafka uh, in your uh, so how kafka server will start so that kafka server will start so give this kafka access zookeepers we have to start first and after that uh, we have to start this zookeeper once we can use this uh, script then inside that we have a uh, zookeepers uh, if you run this kafka inside that we have a bin bin inside this zookeeper server will be there there I start sh config zookeeper property now you can start the kafka so kafka also will have the same thing once you open the kafka folder there will have a bin and then I start the kafka server like that so what are the consumers or users so kafka provides single consumer abstractions to discover both queuing and uh, publish subscribe consumer group they tag themselves with the users group and every communication available on a topic is distributed to one use case users case within every promise in this user group so user instant of disconnecting process we can determine this message model from consumer base uh, on the consumer group so they will also ask like what is the consumer group when to use consumer group and all if all the con consumers instance have a uh, same consumer then we have to uh, do this so, so uh, these all are the terminology which we have to uh, maybe interviewer will ask in that and uh, others will have a uh, like uh, uh, questions may be asked like why kafka why is kafka technology significant to use either we have a multiples are there why we are not using revit mq or maybe jms or any others so kafka is being distributed publisher subscriber system has there uh, so advantage is fast is there so kafka comprises uh, for for broker and a single broker can serve thousand client handling mega data to read and write as per second a scalable like fact of partition and stream length our cluster machine is enable large information durable and design so durable messages are persistent and replicate in a cluster to prevent record loss distribution by design it provide a fault tolerance guarantee and robust so while we use a kafka terminology significant to us to use so there are multiple advantages are there but there will be some disadvantage also will be there so this is the there then after that they will ask how you are checking the logs in kafka what are the way when to use so we have a kafka install and after that we have a kafka tools is the tools where we can add our things like a uh, kafka details kafka clusters details and then so that you can start uh, or see the all the topics records details messages and all there you can see the logs so how we will check we have a kafka tools is a t uh, uh, software where uh, we can connect the kafka details and also we can see the logs and everything on real time data that is a for visualizations and all but uh, you need to install kafka zookeepers then after that you if you want to connect the kafka details you can use kafka tools also when not to use kafka so what are the scenario where we can not use the kafka kafka does not number of message it has a noti notion of offset inside this logins which identify in the message so there are different scenario where we can we can't use the kafka uh, like uh, uh, kafka doesn't offer the ability to delete so this message stay 
via log in a Kafka till it is expired. So this is the disadvantage we can say also. There is no random reads of Kafka. Consumers has to mention the offset of the topic and Kafka start like that. So there are multiple advantages and disadvantages where we'll go. And after that, they will ask like, what is the role of offset? Message contains uh, in this partition uh, are assigned a unique ID number that call offset. So message contain the partitions are assigned a unique ID that is called offset. So this is a very important question. The role of offset is a unique identify every message within the partition. So uh, like that, they will ask uh, what is the role of offset, when to use offset, what will be the uh, unique ID which will be created and what are the algo has written to create uh, this uh, uh, unique ID. And then what is the consumer group? So uh, that also will ask uh, many of the interviewers, what is consumer group? Is it uh, a con uh, like a con concept exclusion to uh, Kafka? So every Kafka consumer group consists one or more consumers that join uh, consumed a set of subscribed topic. So that is called consumer group and what is the role of Zookeeper. So Kafka used Zookeepers to store offset of masses consumed for a specific topic and partition by a specific consumer group. So Kafka used uh, Zookeepers to store the offset. So and uh, of masses of group you know. So is it possible to use Kafka without Zookeeper? No, it is not possible. Without Zookeepers, we can't connect directly to the Kafka server. If for more re some reason Zookeepers is down, you can't even service any client request. So Zookeepers is mandatory to uh, start before uh, running a Kafka. So while running Kafka server, Zookeeper is also need to start and without Zookeeper we can't do anything. So while why are the replications critical in Kafka? So replication, replication ensure that published sub message are not lost. So can be consumed in the event of any machine error, program error, or frequent software So that Kafka uh, uh, replications uh, is critical in Kafka. Uh, this is the reasons where uh, we can do. So apart from this, uh, some of the interview also will ask different different questions. So uh, what is the purpose for uh, starting a Kafka server? Uh, what are the process will be there to start a Kafka server and how since Kafka uh, use Zookeeper so it is essential to start Zookeeper first and then already we discuss so how you will start so we have a bin uh, in Zookeeper server if you want to start Kafka inside this Zookeeper go for bin Zookeeper server start .sh config slash Zookeeper property next to start the Kafka the same in Kafka folder Go for bin Kafka server start .sh config slash start this. Yeah, that's it from my side. Like these all are the questions which I have uh, seen. Uh, so please subscribe my channel if you watch it. And thank you for that.